welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Walmart fashion video. You guys seem to really love it when I show affordable fashion here on my YouTube channel, so that is exactly what I'm going to be doing today. I recently placed a huge order on Walmart.com for like spring and summer fashion, and honestly, you guys, I am so impressed with all of their stuff. I am just blown away by the quality, the styles, like just everything, so I highly recommend checking out Walmart. I'm going to be showing you guys so many pieces here today. So I'm going to try to run through this quickly, but definitely watch until the end because we have so many great pieces. If you guys are still liking my Walmart videos, then of course give this one a thumbs up so that I know so I can continue to make them for you. And of course subscribe down below if you're not already. I also post pictures weekly on Instagram of like just my daily style on stories, just chatting with you guys, all of that stuff. So check me out over there as well. The last thing I wanted to tell you guys too is that the day you're watching this on Wednesday if you are into Amazon at all I'm going to be doing an Amazon live at 8 p.m. Eastern time so I will put the link down below for the live stream and at 8 p.m. I will just be chatting with you guys for about an hour all about Mother's Day gift ideas and I also have past Amazon live streams and all of that so you can check that out as well just wanted to get you guys more involved with like content that I'm doing and more engaging content so with the Amazon on lives you guys can chat with me in real time I answer your questions whatever it might be so if you guys are interested in that I will have all of the links down below but for today's video let's just get started so this t-shirt that I'm wearing is from Walmart of course and it is just a really pretty graphic tee graphic tees from Walmart are seriously one of my favorite things to get from there so this one is an MTV graphic tee I love the colors in this it's like orange yellow pink these colors just like scream summertime to me so I love this. As always, I love the detail that they put on their graphic tees. They have like a little bit of like a rolled sleeve right here. I just think little tiny details like that just make such a big difference. They also have like a tiny bit of distressing like up at the collar. I'm sure you can't really tell right here, but it does and I love that aspect as well. So it just has the MTV logo with like the sunshine sort of detail in the logo and then it has like the black font on the bottom. So like right now I'm just wearing it with a pair of like black denim shorts and I really love that outfit as well but in the video I styled it like in a much more feminine way so I picked up this skirt from Walmart that is like a layered floral skirt it has the smocked waist up here which is really comfortable very flattering just like super easy to throw on I did get this in an XL because it was one of the juniors brands I believe and I think the brand is sunset and sixth so I did size up to an XL and I'm happy I did for the length I think the waist would have fit totally fine because it is so stretchy in my normal size large, but I am happy that I did that for length. I paired it with this graphic tee. I just thought the colors of both of these items like really worked well together. It's just something unexpected and I actually really love the way that that looked. I just tucked the t-shirt into my skirt and then I paired it with a pair of really pretty gold sandals that I'll show you in a minute and I love that outfit. For those of you who have watched plenty of my try on videos, you know how I feel about pairing a graphic tee with like a more feminine skirt. I just think that's a really fun outfit. It's super easy. I feel like it works every single time. You cannot go wrong and this outfit was no different in my opinion. And like I said, I paired that outfit with a pair of gold gladiator sandals. These are by Scoop from Walmart and I cannot get enough of these. I'm going to be wearing these all summer long, you guys. They are so comfortable. I mean, these are definitely the closest dupe that I have seen for a Sam Edelman sandal. The ones with like all of the really pretty studs on it. I have a couple of those like expensive Sam Edelman sandals as well and honestly the quality is not much off I mean they have the really pretty gold studs all throughout the entire strap they hook twice on your ankle I usually only have to undo the first like the top one to get them on they're really easy to get on they're very comfortable like this part is really cushiony it's almost like uh, like memory foam or something I wear gold basically every single day with every outfit that I wear so for me these are a staple for my spring and summer wardrobe. I believe these are still in stock, and if you're not into the gold, they also have a few other colors as well. And then also with that outfit, I paired a simple pair of gold hoops with it. I actually got these hoops in a two-pack from Walmart, so the ones that I'm wearing right now are kind of like a smoother surface, smaller hoop. And then it also came with this pair. These just have like the twisted sort of detail around the entire hoop, which just gives it like a little bit of added detail, you know, and then for it to come with 
with the more like smaller simpler pair as well obviously they're not like real gold or anything like that but I don't like to spend a lot of money on my jewelry so for me to get these in a two-pack is perfect I've been wearing them non-stop so far they're really great quality they haven't hurt my ears or anything like that I just love the detail of both of them I think they're perfect and then with that same skirt here the really pretty floral skirt I just paired it with a white blouse as well instead of the graphic tee this is a great basic in my opinion from Walmart like such a great piece to have I can see myself pairing this with so many different things like even just a pair of like colored jeans in the spring that would be really cute really really pretty it's just like a kind of like a crepey almost like a wrinkly looking fabric but it's super lightweight I just got mine in white it does tie right here in the middle and then in the front it's kind of flowy and kind of dips up into like a v-shape and then in the back it's actually elastic which is great for just the overall fit of the shirt I find that the elastic in the back actually helps it like cinch in at your waist so it really hits you at like a perfect point I got this in my normal size large I think it fits really great like I said I did get mine in the white but they have a couple of other colors they also have like little tiny 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 shoulder pads you can't even really feel them or tell that they're there but just it adds like a little bit of oomph to your shoulder for this video I actually also paired it with a pair of flowy pants and you guys this is something I was skeptical about and these pants impressed me more than I ever imagined that they would because you know flowy pants can be weird like they can either make your butt look really good or really bad it just depends but I really love these so they're just in a black and white pattern and it's kind of like a zigzaggy I don't even know what this pattern is it's just it's not animal print but it's not chevron but it's kind of like I don't know it's like a mix of something but these fit fabulously I did get these in my normal size large and they fit wonderfully so definitely stick with your normal size in these the length on me is perfect I just paired them with like a little pair of strappy heeled sandals I mean the heel on those sandals was about like that big so not too high they do have a zipper closure here and then like a button and a little metal hooks here as well and then they also have elastic on the back they don't have pockets but I kind of like that because sometimes with flowy pants if they do have pockets they can kind of make it fit weird or they can stick out in a weird way so so I don't mind that these don't have pockets actually but I know for other people that might be a deal breaker I feel like they will be flattering on multiple different body types I paired these with the white shirt that would be a really great just like fancier outfit if you will but you could also dress these down by pairing it with you know my favorite thing another graphic tee so this is a graphic tee that is like extremely similar to the one I'm wearing so honestly you probably don't need both but I just have an obsession and addiction and I picked this one up as well it is the Beatles here comes the Sun tour graphic tee this one is literally the exact same style as the one I'm wearing it has like the little bit of like rolled up sleeves just distressing on the sleeves, distressing on the collar. I did get both of these in a size extra large. I just like my graphic tees to be a little bit oversized. So if you don't want that fit, definitely just get your normal size. I think it'll fit fine. Once again, the colors in this one, the orange, yellow, and green, just scream spring and flowers and just fun. Paired it with those pants to kind of bring in like the black logo and the white and everything. And I think that was even a really cute outfit as well, just to style it a little bit more casually. And by the way, last time I checked this one and I think one other graphic tee I'm gonna share, the both of those were out of stock but I have shared so many graphic tees in other videos and everything and they have since come back into stock so I'm still including these in the video just because I have a feeling Walmart is going to continuously stock their graphic tees especially so if they're out of stock right now don't worry keep checking back you guys can follow me on Instagram sometimes I will do like restock notifications on things that I do know are best sellers like the graphic tees if you want to kind of be more informed follow me over there or just like check back on the Walmart website and I'm sure you'll eventually see it pop back up and then also the most basic way to style a graphic tee is of course just with a pair of denim I wear jeans all throughout the entire year like no matter the month or the season I'm wearing jeans still at some point and I wanted to try a pair from the free assembly line from Walmart because I've heard great things about that line but the last time I tried to order a pair of jeans from there they ran really small in my opinion 
in. So this time I sized up to a 14 actually and these fit me seriously perfectly. So personally, I think that you should size up in them and only because they're non-stretch. But the wash of these, you guys, is amazing. The fabric is amazing. They're just very thick. To me, the quality of these just feels amazing. So these are, I know it's a little hard for me to show you guys, but these are just like a boyfriend mom jean, like just very straight leg. Like you can see here at the legs there, I have them rolled up a couple times, but they are just like very loose. But in my butt and my waist, these fit phenomenally. They just like hug my waist and my booty like perfectly. And then they're just loose around like my knees and my calves and everything, which is exactly what you want in like a mom jean or boyfriend jean. They just have a couple little rips here at the knees. And like I said, the wash is really great. They just feel very substantial in your hand, like just great quality, you guys. You are looking for a pair of jeans. Walmart is actually a really good option. Another pair of Walmart shoes. I paired these with that graphic tee and jeans outfit. These are by the brand Melrose Avenue. And I just picked these up because I thought they were really, really good basic sandal to have for spring and summer. I think this is like the cognac color, but they also have like a beige and I they have a bunch of different colors, I believe. I opted for the cognac because I don't really have any sandals that are just like plain cognac brown, easy to throw on with like literally any outfit, whether I'm running errands or dressing up with like a cute dress or something. So these just have like the three straps. Super simple, super comfortable. These are a little bit thinner than the other Gladiator sandals that I showed you guys, but still a really nice quality shoe. I mean, I'm, again, always impressed by Walmart shoes. I got these in my normal size eight, love them, and I will definitely get a ton of wear out of these. Next up, one of my favorite little outfits in this entire video is a lounge set, and that is this tie-dye number right here. So cute, you guys. So the top is just like a little crew neck top. It has Dolman sort of leave here. It's a little bit more of like a flowy fit. It is slightly cropped for sure. And I did size up in both of these in the shorts and the sweatshirt to an XL. And I will say with the sweatshirt, I'm really glad that I did that because even if at the neck, I felt like it was a little not tight, but like I was like, if I would have gotten a large, I feel like I would have been like choking a little bit or something. So I'm happy that I sized up in this one. I definitely like my sweatshirts, especially for lounge to be a little bit more oversized, but it still does that make you look frumpy because of the overall cut and shape of it. And one other thing to note about this lounge set is that it is pretty lightweight. So it's definitely made for spring and summer. The shorts, I will say, I love them. I mean, they're super cute, same exact pattern. These are an XL and I feel like you can even tell how big they are, not only right here, but probably in the try on clips, you can tell that they're a little bit too big on me, but I also don't really mind that because it's just super comfortable and they do have a drawstring. So the waistband is adjustable but I just wanted to note that because I think you would be totally fine getting your normal size or even sizing down if you're between sizes. But as always, the quality of their lounge sets are also amazing. It's by the Scoop brand. Love the thick waistband here. It's stretchy, they're flowy, they have pockets, and I'm obsessed. All right, next up, a couple of dresses. First up is this like ribbed bodycon dress here. It is a long midi dress, and this is by Scoop as well. This is so pretty. And again, this is something I was super nervous about. You guys probably know me by now. I do not like a bodycon dress. I feel like you've got to be like super confident no matter what size you are to like wear a bodycon dress. You know, it's just, it's a little intimidating because like everything is showing like every lump, every bump. I like this one because the material is a little bit more forgiving because it is that like ribbed sweater material, which is super in style right now, even during spring and summer. Very, very trendy. The colors of it cannot go wrong with these colors. The coral, the tan and white, just very, very like neutral and mature, but still like really fun for spring. Got this in a size large. Definitely get your normal size or even size down because it is so, so stretchy. And especially if you're short, I would definitely say to size down because it is pretty long and I'm 5'5 five five and it still was a midi length on me, but I feel like because it has so much stretch, it really wouldn't be too much difference if you size down. So I did wear some shape 
shapewear underneath. I wore like a Spanx bodysuit. That just made me feel a little bit more comfortable. I don't know. It smooths everything out, your booty and all of that. And I will link the shapewear that I wore with this down below in case you guys are interested in that as well. But I just paired it with those same like gold sandals and like a white denim jacket. That is exactly how I would style this every time. Like I really can't see myself ever wearing this like without a denim jacket over it just because that's how I am. And I thought that was super cute for like a chillier spring day. You could dress it up if you're going to like a bridal shower, baby shower, whatever it is. You could wear a pair of like little cute wedges or heels with this. That would be adorable as well. Another dress that I was totally skeptical of as well because of the shape of this is this little baby doll dress. I usually do not gravitate towards baby doll dresses just because I feel like they can kind of cut you off and not really emphasize the most flattering parts of your body because usually they stop like right at your boobs and then like flare out and that can just personally make me look a lot bigger than I am. But for some reason I feel like this one is a little bit more flattering than other baby doll dresses that I've tried. I don't know if it's the sleeves or I don't know what it is but I really do actually like this one. It's in like a really pretty like sage minty green color. I feel like the square neckline of this one is super flattering as well and then like I said it does have the really poofy sleeves which I am obsessed with. I don't think I'll ever get over that trend. I just think it's really cute. It does have your traditional baby doll sort of silhouette where it is tighter on your chest and then flows out into a lot of flowy fabric down here at the bottom. This one is just kind of like a slip over your headdress. It doesn't have any zippers or buttons or anything like that which again super comfortable and very easy to put on. I'm really impressed with this. The fabric is very like thick great quality. You can just tell the fabric is really nice. So that's always good. I did get this in my normal size large and it fits great. And I paired that one with those same cognac brown sandals. And then I also paired it with this adorable bag that I picked up from the Scoop brand as well. This matches those sandals perfectly. And I just really like this bag. I love the different textures that this has in it. So we have like the straw bag as the base. You have the straw all over the back as well. Then you have the faux cognac brown leather in the flap of the bag as well as the long crossbody strap and then of course you have this like really pretty tortoise chain across the front just has like a button closure has like a fairly decent amount of room in here I mean obviously it's a small crossbody bag so you're not going to be able to fit a ton in here but like at least your phone wallet lip gloss sunglasses I think would fit in here perfectly fine I really like this I think I'm going to be pairing this with a lot this summer all right next up we have a denim shorts outfit denim shorts is another thing that I'm super picky on just because they can be really unflattering especially in white and when I got these from Scoop I was really impressed so I have to share them with you guys this is another thing that I believe was sold out last time I looked but it's the beginning of spring so I have a feeling they will probably restock at some point but these are so nice you guys they are my favorite white shorts that I own I've tried some from American Eagle from Abercrombie and I just like these you guys I'm not even kidding. They're so good. I did size up in these as well, which I always do in my denim shorts. I pretty much wear a size 12 or 14 in denim shorts. Personally, that's just what I prefer. I don't like anything tight. So these are great. High-waisted, a zipper fly here. They have a little bit of like fraying and distressing at the bottom. They even have like a little chunk sort of taken out here with the distressing and I believe on the other side as well there. Simple back, nothing on the pockets. The length on these is great. Sometimes even if you size up in denim shorts, they're still just like weirdly short and these are not. I like that they have a few inches here on your thigh. So yeah, if you guys are like mid-sized gals, especially I feel like you're really going to like these, especially for the length. They come in all different sizes too. That's one thing I love about Walmart is they're really size inclusive and I paired those a couple of different ways. The first way is with this beautiful royal blue top from the Sofia Vergara line. I got this in my normal size large as well. This one is just a really pretty, fun, bright blouse. So it features just a nice smocked waist right here, and then it kind of flows out almost into like a little bit of a peplum shape, but it's not like too dramatic. And then it does have kind of a square neckline here at the top, and then this piece right here is actually elastic, so it fits any chest size or anything like that. The sleeves are a little bit flowy, making it a little bit of like a poofy sleeve. So I just paired this top with the white 
shorts and the gold sandals and some gold earrings together and I thought that that looked like a really pretty casual outfit. I would totally wear that, you know, to the mall or out to lunch with friends wherever I'm at. Um, that would be a really cute outfit. So totally excited about that. Another really pretty outfit, probably one of my favorite outfits of this entire video, is also with those same white shorts. I just paired a white bodysuit and then I layered this beautiful blue kimono over top. This is by Scoop and I got mine in the medium slash large size. It is super, super flowy. So honestly, I think that you'd be fine with either size. It does have slits on the side here, which I like just because it gives you a little bit more movement in the garment, which is really good. I mostly just picked this up because of the colors. I really love the pink and purple and blue and it's like this paisley pattern. And this paired with like the all white outfit underneath is just such a like pop of color, such a statement. I love the way it looks. I love pairing just like really oversized flowy kimonos with shorts and a bodysuit in the summertime. It gives you a little bit more coverage if you want that with the flowy kimono over top, but it's still not going to make you too hot. It's like the summer version of a cardigan. You just throw them on with anything and it looks so good. Another super colorful piece by the Sofia Vergara line. This one is just a midi length dress. It's actually sort of like a high low a little bit. When I did the try-ons for this video, that was the first time I had tried everything on and I seriously fell in love with everything. So you guys will definitely have to let me know your opinions, what your favorites are, what you think I should send back. But this one I think is one of my favorites. I definitely want to keep this one. I love the way it fits. It's so comfortable. It's like all very stretchy and flowy. The waist here is a smocked waist and then you also have some elastic on the sleeves as well which makes it really comfortable. It does have the buttons all the way down the front of the dress which is a detail that I like. It just makes it look a little bit more expensive of a dress in my opinion. It does have a v-neck and like I said it is a little bit of like a high low not too much it's not like super dramatic but it is a little bit longer in the back which I think is just like really flattering again I just paired this with the gold sandals and it looks beautiful with that but you could also wear this with a pair of heels to dress it up a little bit I can see myself wearing this just like out and about day to day or I could see myself even dressing this up a little bit for a more casual wedding any event that you have I think this would be a really cute piece and I did get my normal size large sticking with the Sofia Vergara stuff I do have another lounge set. This one is also tie-dye, but it's totally different. This one is more of like a monochromatic tie-dye. We have the little off-the-shoulder sweatshirt here and then just the little shorts. So we'll start with the top. As you can see, this kind of has like a weird cut if you're just looking at it like on a hanger, but on the model online and hopefully in the try-on, you can tell how it is supposed to fit. I've actually never owned a piece that was cut like this, so I was a little skeptical, but actually once I put it on, it actually lays quite nicely. It is very like off the shoulder so it's not one of those where you have to like physically pull it off your shoulder it just kind of lands like that as soon as you put it on so if you're not into off the shoulder there's not really a way to make this a normal sweatshirt if that makes sense because it just does have that more of like a boat neck sort of cut it is definitely a flowier looking top it just looks very slouchy but honestly when paired with these shorts it looks really good I was super impressed um, it is like a little bit cropped here. I will say this is not the softest two-piece set that I've ever bought. It is just like a little bit of like a stiffer fabric, I will say. Keep that in mind. The shorts are definitely a little bit shorter than the other lounge set that I showed you guys, um, but they still have like a nice waistband. They have a drawstring here, and they do look really great with the top paired together. They almost just kind of look like a little romper because I just tucked the front of the top into these shorts, and it just looks like a really slouchy off-the-shoulder romper. Another graphic tee I picked up is this Def Leppard graphic tee and disclaimer here I did wear this last night over to Patrick's family's house for dinner and I was wearing it like when we got home on our couch and everything so it has a lot of dog hair on it right now so I already need to throw this in the wash so it has the leopard right here and then the yellow and pink in there I don't know what about this one but I just really like this one I think this one is my favorite graphic tee out of the three in this video it's just like very edgy very my style so I really love that I just think it's so cute but yeah exactly 
exact same style as these with the distressing on the collar and on the sleeves here. I did get this in an XL as well. And for like a super casual look, I just paired it with these denim shorts. These are also by Scoop. And again, they may be sold out right now, but keep checking. I'm going to keep checking for you guys. These are a really great option for just like your classic pair of blue denim shorts. They have sort of like the frayed edge, but they don't have as much distressing at the bottom. They do have like one little hole over here, but that is about it. There's not like too much distressing to these. And then the back pockets are just plain. Once again, these do have quite a bit of room down below the crotch. So they do give you a little bit of length, which is nice. These are stretchy, very comfortable, high-waisted. I got these in a 14 as well, and they fit really good. But yeah, I mean, I do really like these. The only thing that throws me off a little bit is that usually when I buy denim shorts these days, I always get like non-stretch denim shorts. But these are a stretchier short, but I think because I sized up that I do still like the way they fit. But they do just like conform a little bit more to your thighs and your butt and your waist than a non-stretch short wood. That's the only thing about these, but still they're really comfortable. And I do think for the price, these are amazing. And then with that outfit for, like I said, a super casual look, I paired these shoes, which honestly, I'm not sure about you guys will have to let me know what you think about these. I think I'm going to keep them. I like them with certain outfits. I'm not sure how I felt about them with the shorts and the graphic tee when I tried that on. So you guys will have to let me know what you thought, but they are basically just like a Birkenstock dupe. These are by Scoop as well. They are just like a black dupe of a Birkenstock, like I said, but they have like the rustic gold looking hardware to it with the little rivets all over and then the gold buckles. I did wear these last night and they are super comfortable. So I do highly recommend them. I just wasn't sure if Birkenstocks are like really my style, but I kind of thought these were a little bit more my style because of the added like hardware on them. I just think they give a little bit more of like an edgy touch to Birkenstocks. So I like these, like I said, with certain outfits, super fun interesting shoes. I never thought I would be into these, but I don't know. I kind of think they're really cute. And then with that same graphic tee and those same Birkenstock dupes, I actually paired this really long like denim shirt jacket sort of situation with it. This is the outfit that I actually wore last night to dinner. I wore that exact same outfit with the leggings, the graphic tee, this jacket, and the Birkenstocks. And see that I really like with the shoes. I think that outfit is like my go-to. I think that's really cute, really comfortable, casual. This jacket is from Scoop. I got it in a size large and it is very like heavy, great quality. I am super impressed with this. It's something super unique to my wardrobe. I have a million denim jackets, but I definitely do not have one that looks anything like this. This one is just like super long. It has all the buttons all the way down. It does have an aspect where you can cinch the waist if you need to. So like right here on the inside, you can use these strings to cinch it. It has very deep pockets, which I like. I can just see myself wearing this like over and over for just like really casual outfits, just throwing it on over top of any outfit I'm already wearing if it's like a little chilly out. And the last piece I have to share with you guys today is a romper and a beautiful bright neon yellow color. This one is just a floral print romper. It, it does have like this sort of white and black floral pattern, which is a little bit unique. And I liked that because a lot of times with something this color, you don't see black as an accent color in there, which I kind of liked because it makes it to where I can wear black accessories like black heels or sandals or or a black crossbody or something. Or if I wanted to, I could just keep it neutral with like a gold, which is what I did for the try on video. I love the way this fits. I did size up in this to an extra large. I'm not sure why I did that. I'm not sure if the reviews said it ran small or something maybe, but I did size up to an extra large and I do like the way this fits. So I don't know, I would just read the reviews maybe. But the sleeves are more of like a three quarters length sleeve. They do have like a little ruffled detail on them, which is super cute. They're really flowy, which is nice, which I think is probably because I sized up. It is just like a little bit more flowy, has a little bit more fabric, which I like. It does have an elastic waistband here and a little tie around the waist so you can tie into like a cute little bow. And the shorts to the romper have a really good length for me in this size. The color is just beautiful for spring and summer. I just love a bright yellow. And it does have like a little metal clasp here to 
clip in the middle so you're not like showing too much cleavage if you want. I think depending on like where I was going I could either use the little clasp or not. I don't feel like it's too much cleavage without it. I would probably just safety pin it if I didn't because sometimes the clasp for me is like a little bit too high up on my chest. Overall really cute piece. That is everything you guys. I know this was a lot of stuff to get through but seriously I couldn't even leave anything out. All of it, it was so cute and I know you guys are gonna love these outfits as well because they're super affordable, very trendy, great quality. Like literally what more could you want? Definitely check them out. Everything will be linked in the description box below. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys are still enjoying my spring fashion content, my Walmart content. Let me know what you want to see down below. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for watching as always. I love you guys and I will talk to you very soon in my next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.